শেফালি রানতে যা শেকর বাংলাদেশে জন্ম চট্টগ্রামে কিন্তু সেই কোন ছেলেবেলায় মাত্র ছ বছর বয়সে তাকে দত্তক নিয়ে চলে যায় ডেনমার্কের এক পরিবার তারপর থেকেই তার বেড়ে ওঠা বড় হয়ে ওঠা সবই ডেনমার্কে তিনি এখন স্বামী সন্তানদের সাথে থাকেন ওপেন হেগেনে করোনাকালে কিভাবে কাটছে তার দিনগুলো কি বা ভাবছেন তিনি বাংলাদেশকে নিয়ে শেফালি রেন্টে ইউ আর ভেরি ভেরি ওয়ার্ম ওয়েলকাম টু প্রথম আলো and i am saifur rahman uh, nice to see you uh, after a long time and also it's my pleasure to talk to you uh, how's your days right now the days are different compared to before but people was very positive because they heard they follow everything from china how we spread in italy and people get uh, afraid and panic for me Uh, in our family we actually not uh, afraid of this virus because this is like flu uh, we think actually we need it to have it to uh, to need to be able to be we get later uh, not we get got it resist later for me the uh, corona has been it's not like a panic or a um, worst case or uh, what is called it's it have it have been positive because many people i i see it have been positive for many people uh they get connection to each other the family have more time to uh spend time together because most uh, family we have a busy time we have school uh work and uh, homework all this we've been so busy so we all forgot to be together So now we have been in one room <laughs> in the house so i mean for us have been not that big different actually but i know many people they have traveling a lot for them uh, to be with the family and the schedule uh, in the calendar is empty it have been really nice for many people as well of course there is a people who lo- losing the job and uh, for them the government also helping them to pay uh, some of the money uh, of course not all but some will lose the job in this case and new will get new job so let's see what happen uh, i mean in the end everyone need the break but not the way we have done it are you enjoying this uh, this life the new life uh, we we never thought of for me to be honest i i i don't know because of my pain at all so i cannot go for work anyway so for me not to have that um concern about i have to work all the time but i can't i feel i waste my time now i can relax because i'm not allowed to work anyway <laughs> nobody work uh, so i can uh, with nice guilty not work but many people they want to go out they want to have a normal life again no it's not a good way to have it but one break it's okay i think in the long term it's good to have small uh, wake up call i think this is a wake up call for everyone it is worth it to work that most it is but at the same time i also feel we actually waste um waste something it mean financial world is telling that next normal or new normal uh, the thing will be uh, the same the the situation no. will be the same no so what what are same. you are you anticipating as a as a art, as an artist as a painter i mean art scene have been go direct down people are not going out at the same time people are not going on holiday people won't travel this year people buying something new to the home and here our scene is good uh, i i hope actually because we i for myself i lost many exhibition all my income should be in april months i have two very important uh, exhibition both cancelled but at the same time i believe people will come back when we start we understand each other so it's not only the art scene it's all scenes if you uh, all feels we losing money 
at the moment. So I think people will spend more money on the home. That means decoration, art, furniture, uh, being together. Uh, so this holiday, it will be in Denmark. This summer, people will not travel. People will not travel like uh, as the before. old generation as before now. Me included. I mean, I am, you cannot stop me for anything. I want to travel as I used to. Right. And I will immediately they open the board and the Emirates, they're telling me now you can fly with us. I will go. I'm not afraid of this. <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's nothing to be worried about. This illness virus is here for a reason. People are actually uh, uh, very uh, tense about their future. Uh, they are uh, anxious what will happen, especially uh, in case of income. So uh, do, don't you think that it will uh, be a great impact in psychologically? It will in, in many ways, I believe. But at the same time, I believe also people will very far going back to what you, they used to. As an artist, so this situation, this all on a sudden, you have experienced this, uh, will influence in your painting, in your, uh, uh, in your creativity? It will. It will. Actually, the painting behind me, as I uh, show you, it was for the China Biennale uh, exhibition is about global warming so last one last year it had been more global warming what how can we do to uh, helping impact a global warming so uh, so we thinking about it and next i i know already i had a project with young people in the school i will, i uh, collected uh, many of katong from milk uh, is this katong yeah yes and I have maybe two, three hundred of them. And I will ask the uh, kids in all uh, different age. Um, so this project is behind after Corona. Their thought, how can we express them? What, uh, not the small kids, because they don't need all this being afraid of life. They have so long lives. I, even my son, 10 years, I don't. I don't tell him how awful this uh, illness is. He think he's for him it had been great being at home because he was playing computer all day and socializing with his friend. But at the same time, it's good to ask these kids, even ten years old, what does Corona mean to you? What do you know about it? Even not, I'm not telling them it can be death, it can be life, it can be this but what they have noticed from the uh, adult, from the school, from the news, from the media, if they hear anything. And I will of course have a um, collaboration with the high school as well. So I will make three projects and no, six projects actually. And it will be like, uh, it will be made of, the, so it will be a recycling at first. So we're talking about environment and we will do talking about what happened right now and what have it done to them. Um, and I will ask the government to make big exhibition later. So after all this, your canvas will experience new life, new color or uh, less color or more color. You are always a person no. of color. I want to still keep my positive mind of life is good. That's it. This sickness is nothing I can control anyway, but I don't want it to influence my art. I might think over, it could be nice to make one with a mask, uh, maybe, but not. I won't make any collection or, uh, no, I won't change my colors or design. No, it has to be joy of life. As, as, as a person, as a as a person, do you want to forget all this 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 time, or uh, I, I, this experience a uh, lesson for you? I think it has been lesson for everyone, uh, and it's and actually many of my art it's it's called time to a break. It's called pardon, tea pardon, break time, or, uh, time for a break. 
Time for break, yeah. I have three, yeah, time of break. It can be tea break. I, I have three where I say, I need my time. I need my break, tea break. It's only one lady and uh, sitting. And I think it's, it's mean of, we are focused, we are, so, we are so busy in the daily life. So we need a break. So maybe I can see this as a positive. I mean, Corona has not changed my life. It's not like, I will never hug an old person again because I'm a hug person. I love my family. I love my friends. I love people around me. This is my life. And I, even Corona time and we, I mean, my husband and I, we have discussed government take too serious this, but we don't know what it is. But for us, we have been more open. My friend can come visiting or everything. And I hug them and then I read, <gasps> I cannot hug them because that is the rules. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, they, we did it now. So we do also when we say goodbye. So, uh, I mean, people um, in the beginning was very easy to forget how, but now they will think about, do we need to hug? Do we need handshaking? Uh, oh, can we just say, hi, how are you? But for me, it's not uh, the right way. For me, it's hug important. Yes. Not even handshake. Yeah. But do you think that this break revitalizing you? It has, absolutely. It's open eyes of everything. I mean, we, we have to appreciate our life. We should appreciate the people around us. We should appreciate when I can paint again, I will be very like, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I use my break here right now, all these months to heal myself. And uh, and it will also, what do you call? I will show it in somehow because I have making some painting by left hand. So it's not like life is stand by because you cannot use one part of it. You learn actually what skills you else have with other part of your body. So, so how many canvases have you uh, finished uh, during this lockdown time? Only uh, these three pieces I have for six pieces. This is, okay. So what's your plan now, from now on? My plan is, I mean, art scene will still be very slow. Um, I have no exhibition, but I will create a lot of slowly, not hurry at all, but think about how can I change and give to the um, uh, citizens of how we can express all this, what happened. I, I want to, um, I have a friend, colleague, we will do a pod project together about life is more than life. Life is about live, Life is about carry about, but also life is take a step back and stop up and think. Because we always, we are very fast to take a decision. We're very fast to just roll over the decision and do something else. Instead of, I took a decision, I made a decision, and I want to keep it. And it was reason for why I shouldn't paint or why I should paint a lot because now everything open again. Now the customer might come. I promised myself not to punish myself. Uh, 2020 is a year. I don't get much income, but I will express as much I can as before, but 20 first it will be my year for income again so what skill have you developed uh, in this time using my left hand oh great <laughs> <laughs> that is i i telling you it will it's very big because it's not just uh, it's it's uh, shower it's make my hair makeup even makeup mm. and 
I mean, everything. It's the, I'm so I'm so thankful I have my left hand. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> what are you thinking about Bangladesh? The root you are belonging. Oh my! My root is definitely there. I mean, my culture is there. I am. That's why I'm telling you. In my culture, uh, we take care of the old people. We're living together. And I told my mother-in-law, uh, sell your house, come to our place. We even have an apartment. It was empty for a few weeks back. And we were thinking to buy that one for her because then she is in the same apartment. Unfortunately, it's, a, uh, it's sold to another one now. She's living in another city in Jutland, far away, the second large city. But we asked her to sell the house because she doesn't need to uh, work anymore. And we want her to come to Copenhagen. So, because I know I am the person, I, I will always take care of her anyway. Uh, old people, general, my grandparents, always I have to look after them. Because that is part of me. Uh, and I got it from my culture. My, uh, Bangladesh will always, since I've been there last time, actually, I want to go back there. And I know they were supposed to be Binali again this year. I don't know how much they're doing it or not because I didn't participate this year. I think everything will change anyway. So this year I'm not doing anything um, outside of country. I don't want to think about, worry about um, how to organize a house. Everything. I don't want to have that. all this stuff. I will, 2020 is relaxed year for me. I accept that. I will prepare for the next year. So do you have any message for Bangladesh? Oh, yes, I have. I, I want them to, I, I mean, this is general. I want you to be safe and don't lose any hope. Because I know also even Bangladesh, because there's so many poor people, they're losing job, they're losing home, they're losing everything, some of them. And But I hope, hope, I don't know, government helping them. Uh, I really hope they find the strength inside and develop themselves. And I hope people around them who can help them will help them. Uh, I hope that there will be organization uh, fund like that. I really hope people to be safe and take care of each other. That is most important. Look after each other. Don't be... I have enough, I don't care about you, but look after you, each other. Look after your neighbors. Everything will come back to you anyway. Can you sing for us the one line? Sing which one? The, the Bengali Bengali song, the, you, you know that one line? The Fooly Fooly song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> you want to hear it? It sound good, but I can one line. Yeah, yeah, one line. You want it? Yeah. But I don't know what it's about. Shepule, <laughs> thank you so much to talking to us. Um, uh, it, it was actually fantastic to see you, to talk to you again. Thank you on behalf of me and also my organization, the Prothomalo. Uh, nice to see you again. Nice to see you and thank you for inviting me.